Hello, this is Dr. Masternich, and this is part four of our series on fractured teeth. In this section, I'm going to discuss uh, two cases that were uh, fractured, that the teeth were lost, and uh, there were no restorations in these teeth. It's much more common to see fractures in teeth that have large restorations, and especially on back teeth. Well, let's go to uh, this case, and uh, this is a a very back molar, a, we call a second molar, and a gentleman came into the practice with uh, sensitivity to biting on his tooth. It had been sensitive uh, for quite some time, sporadically, and then he finally came in uh, because the sensitivity got worse. And so you can see the fracture in this back area right in here, and this is a natural groove in the tooth, but look at this other one in front. This is a groove in the tooth as well. So we have to differentiate between a natural groove and the actual fracture. When we um, take a look at the x-ray, again in one of the previous sections I noted that you can't see these fractures on x-ray and again you can't see this one. This fracture proved to be um, quite deep. It went vertically in the tooth. If we come back to our cross-section of the tooth, uh, this fracture was vertical. It went way down deep into the uh, roots of the tooth and essentially was dividing the tooth into a left and a right half. So uh, what could you do? Well, it was deemed that this tooth was not restorable because of the, the deep nature of the fracture down into the bone. The tooth was extracted, the bone was allowed to fill to about this point right here on healing. Then a dental implant was placed here to act as a, a mechanical root of the tooth and then uh, this is called a healing abutment and then a crown was placed right up in here to restore the tooth and it's been in function for several years at this point. All right, the second case I'm going to show you is very similar in the fact that there was no restoration on the tooth. Here's the x-ray again not showing any fracture lines so how do we track to see uh, if a fracture is actually even there? Well, this is something called translumination. This is a very bright light source, and the photography was taken without any other light. So you can see the light comes through the tooth, and when it hits the fracture, it, the light gets blocked, and then the second half of the tooth is dark. If we turn the light around and, sh and would shine it from this way, this half would be bright, this half would be dark. A normal tooth, if we shined a light, say, on a tooth that's not a fracture, this tooth would be bright all the way through because the, there would be nothing to stop the light. So we know this tooth had a deep fracture and upon further investigation this was um, this tooth was not restorable either because the fracture had gone down again deep into the way uh, below the the bone level and it uh, was um, not conducive to uh, resolving the biting sensitivity. So the tooth was extracted and the site, uh, the implant was placed uh, here and the bone was allowed to heal around the implant and then a crown was placed on top of here to replace the tooth that was missing. Okay, this was a, a conclusion of our uh, series on fractured teeth. If you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, please feel free to call the office and we can discuss your case in, in detail. Um, or if you have a problem that has not been diagnosed, we'd be happy to take a look at it for you. Thank you.